All right, guys. I Matt, this week you had you had sent us a note on something. How about maybe talking about crossover musicians? And I think that's a that's a great topic because it's it's been going on for a while now, but uh, I'm sure we have thoughts on uh, musicians going from one genre to another. Anybody want to start this convo out? Yeah, so it, it kind of came, I, I started thinking about it because, Jared, I'm, I'm sure you're well aware, and Ted, you probably too, because you've talked about that, you, you like Post Malone, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, he's going to be releasing a country album here pretty soon, and he's been, like, teasing things. He put out a song with Morgan Wallen, and he's been, like, posting little clips here and there, and it's working on me, because anytime I see him post this little, like, teaser, I'm like, ah, come on. Um, so, yeah, he's going to be re releasing a country album. Uh, recently beyonce released a country album and you know people were back and forth on that honestly i haven't listened to much of it i listened to the one song that's been on the radio otherwise i haven't heard anything else off of it and you know and it's been a big topic people you're not a country artist why are you trying to make a, a country album you know stay in your lane type of stuff or you know why are you trying to you know beyonce obviously very successful over in the r b world why are you trying to come into our country world? So people are saying the same about Post Malone. I remember when I worked at FYE, when Tr Taylor Swift came out, FYE, you know, music store at the mall uh, back in the day. No one knew who Taylor Swift was. But when she came out, you know, kind of poppy, pop country. And I remember people at the store would get so mad because her albums were in the country section. She's not a country artist. Why is she in the country section? She's not, you know, like all these people. And I just remember thinking like, why do you care? Like, first of all, like, why do you care so much? But also, like, she's a, she's an artist, so let her make whatever music she wants to make. So I'm I'm curious. I just thought it'd be an interesting conversation. Well, well I'll jump uh, in real quick yeah. on Taylor Swift. It's interesting that hearing your perspective on it because my viewpoint was I remember seeing her when she was like 15 years old. You know, mm -hmm. with the with the acoustic guitar, and I thought she was at that time country. I, that's what I thought. I thought she yeah. moved from basically country into pop and pop stardom, super stardom. But uh, I, I, I guess I didn't hear that first part when she first started out. She was getting some grief from country fans, huh? Yeah. I mean, she was definitely more country than she is now. But, you know, the old mm -hmm. school, traditional Hank Williams type of country fans thought she was still like too poppy to be right. in the country section yeah but yeah she has definitely went full on pop obviously now well, so well yeah well before jared jumps in I, i'll comment real quickly on beyonce i've i heard some of her songs I, I don't really care if she sings country or not it was it didn't blow me away let's put it that way right. but i am really looking forward to post malone i think he's yeah. gonna knock it out of the park i without even hearing anything I yeah. think it's going to be great. Have you have you heard the the one song with Morgan Wallen? I have any? heard that one song. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Post Posty's your guy, right, Jared? So are you excited? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a great album. He almost fits country, um, yeah. perfectly. I mean, he's from Texas, so it, it, it's His a perfect voice. first song with Morgan Wallen's a great song. I can't wait to hear it. Um, it's it's gonna be great. Here's where I'm at with it. it it's a, it, I think it's for artists. It's one, it goes one or two ways. Either it's like a start of a brand new career that propels you into a whole another level of stardom, like we see with country artists uh, going to the, to pop, like you said, Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus started this country mm -hmm. somewhat. I think you would categorize, and she's obviously moved to pop now more rock uh, yeah. than anything. So I think it's cool when you see artists, you know, kind of transition in and to different genres. It shows that they're growing, not just churning out the same crap. Now again, it can go bad. I remember Zach Brown band album that came out three, four years ago. That was kind of more like EDM pop. It's like horrible. It's like mm -hmm. almost like ruins, like all the stuff they put out before that. Uh, Beyonce's album. I think it's bad. Um, I think that's kind of what I'm talking about. It's like where it goes one or two ways. Like music quite hasn't really been popping the same way it was, you know, early 2010s makes this kind of left turn. I'm sure she has a crazy fan base. So I'm sure it's popular. I'm sure it's doing well uh, in that like somewhat echo chamber, but I don't think it's that good. I, I didn't think that was a good move. I didn't think it was that good of an album. It right. just didn't work, in my opinion. Now, other times there's been times where it's 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 mixed opinions. Like Little Wayne, I remember like 2008, like his album Rebirth. If you ask a lot of Little Wayne fans, like this is they're like this is an abomination. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. I like that album. I think it's got a few good songs on it. So yep. it, it just it just it varies by artists. But I think for me, I got no problem with it. At the end of the day, good music is good music. So if you can make good music, it's like. Go do it in whatever genre you want to. But uh, if you ever overstep your bounds in that way, I think it's a quick way to kind of send your uh, career really uh, down the hill. Yeah, I always think of it as like actors. 
You know, you, you wouldn't expect Jim Carrey to only do comedy movies his whole career. You wouldn't expect, you know, some of these other actors to only do serious movies their whole career. They're going to do, you know, Jeff Daniels. I, I've heard, I've seen some clips recently on TikTok or, you know, whatever social media of Jeff Daniels talking about he was not a comedic actor when, when he got the role to do Dumb and Dumber with Jim <laughs> Carrey. And think about that. I mean, that legendary role for him you know doing dumb and dumber with jim carrey so would you not want actors to ever cross over into other genres and yeah like you said jared sometimes it doesn't go well if certain actors try and do a serious movie or go the other way do a comedy it's kind of like ah, eh, this doesn't really work for you but still you you know you don't hate on them for doing it so i've never had a problem with that i remember um you know in the 90s early 2000s artists trying to cross over and maybe do different kind of music and i just always artists that i was a fan of you know you listen to it and if it's not your song you know whatever you stick to, to the Move stuff on. that you like but um it, everything's subjective you know i always laugh when you know there's like you said there's probably people who love that beyonce country country album that's fine then yeah. listen to it if you love it listen to it but did that happen much back in you know the day i mean you're obviously big music fan ted and you know through the 60s 70s and did it happen that much did uh rock, it, did, you know classic rock people do like you know, softer music or something. Yeah. Once in a while. I mean, you know, it may be not as far back as my heyday, but you know, like guys like, uh, uh, Darius Rucker. I mean, he moved into country flawlessly. He, right. why was he not ever hundred percent country singer? <laughs> right. You know, I mean, he's, he's awesome at it. But back in the day, you know, there was, there were guys like Kenny Rogers. He started out in pop and then went full-time into country. Glenn Campbell, the same way, Linda Ronstadt. There's others, obviously Ray Charles, but I was going to ask you guys, uh, is there a couple songs maybe that you would pinpoint <clears throat> that maybe are your favorites that crossed over into whatever genre? Hmm. I mean, I can, I know Jared, you, you uh, texted us Aerosmith, uh, yep. you talking about the Aerosmith run DMC walk this way. Yeah. I that, mean, yes, I figure that's probably number one on your list. That's like, I feel like one the number one song that people throw out, like how that was so, uh, you know, perfect changing or, or not, yeah. not changing, but like it was a, it was a cultural moment. Uh, yeah. it's funny. Listen back. It's like this song. I, I don't get it. It's a good, it's a <laughs> solid song, but good Lord. I don't think it's that revolutionary what they did on it um it's probably no, I mean, it's, it's probably less it. it's probably less about the song more about aerosmith and run dmc getting exactly. together that's probably more what it was about yeah and the, and the visual on mtv at the time too right, right. uh um, i would say I, I talked about bon jovi a couple weeks ago but uh john bon jovi recorded who says you can't go home with jennifer nettles that was a that was just a clutch country tune man that he yeah. just knocked it out of the park uh, yeah, uh, that's a good one. I mean, Taylor Swift, you could throw out her whole catalog. I mean, I'm a big right. Swift fan. I mean, that's her whole thing is basically a change. I mean, I threw out Little Wayne's Rebirth album. Again, that's a very controversial. I would say most people would say that's just maybe the worst piece of musical content that's ever been produced, <laughs> but I like it. So that, that's kind of my, I, there's a few songs that I like on that album. So that those are my two options, Taylor Swift and, you know, Little Wayne's got a few of them. Yeah, I know. Like Nelly, Nelly was big. You know the the rap artist Nelly. He was big. You know when I was in high school and then in college was definitely his peak, and he crossed over quite a bit. He did yeah. you know R and B. He did he you know linked up with Tim McGraw and some other country artists, and he right. he was one that definitely dipped into doing rap, R and B, doing some country and stuff, and people. People would rip on him all the time, but same thing. I, I was a fan. I, I like Nelly, so I, I like all those songs. Did I listen to some of those ones as much as like the classic hits? Maybe not, but it's cool. I'm not going to hate on someone for trying it. So mm -hmm. I'm definitely, yeah. Am I going to download the whole Beyonce country album? Probably not. But post I mean, immediately when that all comes out, I'm going to be downloading that. And it, it goes back to the the Super Bowl halftime shows or the, the halftime shows that we talk about. You got to think Post Malone's got to be up there on the list anyway for one of these big halftime shows at some point. We can yeah, only hope. He's number one on my list, man, behind Taylor Swift. So, yep, amen. Uh, one other one that I didn't bring up was Kid Rock. He he had a pretty good segue from his music into country. Yeah. Not a big fan of Kid Rock. All summer long, you can't beat that all time. Right, time, man. exactly. And he I sang can't. with Cheryl Crow. Picture was a pretty good song yep. too. Yeah. Yep. 
I can't believe I used to be such a Kid Rock fan. Thinking about the the left turn that I can't say left turn, the right <laughs> no. turn that he's <laughs> the right turn that he's taking. Like, but yeah, he did. You know, he was he was rock, you know, and then did do the country album. So he, right. he did that. I think his best music is his country music. I, yeah. I, I think his other music is is horrendous. I never <laughs> understood it. That's definitely a generational thing too, because I mean that was it was so big for because he was like rock slash rap. And that yeah. was such a big thing. Like Lincoln Park was a big deal. Limp Biscuit was a big deal back then. So like there weren't necessarily maybe a ton of artists that like crossed over, but they did the same thing. They were hard rock, but they were rapping during those songs. Or like Lincoln mm -hmm. Park had a dude that would scream, Chester Bennington, but then they also had um you yeah. know someone that would rap rapping. during the song. Yeah. So that that was a big thing. Right. So it's what's well, it's funny you brought up Kid Rock because I think he he had a lot more fans before he turned really political, you know, depending yeah. on whatever your beliefs are. But yeah, I think that I probably hurt him because he's lost a lot of his fans. Where if you're non-political and you're in this business or that business, whatever, you're you're gonna keep a lot more of your fans. There's just no getting around it. 